Now, the EU's foreign policy chief, Catherine Ashton, is visiting Kiev to meet the new interim leadership. She's there to discuss measures to keep the country afloat, as reports emerge that the Ukrainian treasury is empty. The EU has already pledged to provide Ukraine with 20 billion euros once a new government is formed. And it's after the International Monetary Fund confirmed its commitment to provide Kiev with financial support. Mikhail Gorbachev, the former president of the Soviet Union, thinks that the West should let the people of Ukraine decide their own political future. Have you seen what's going on there? It's outrageous. You need a bulldozer to push all the consultants from the US and the EU out of there. They should let the people decide for themselves. Issuing recommendations to nations is unacceptable. They shouldn't send bandits in. All sides need to head to the negotiating table and talk one month or six months if needed. They will come to an agreement eventually.